Okay, dear, would you like to explain why we're standing in front of corn? <laughs> as high as an elephant's eye. Assuming that's where an elephant's eye would be. Name that shit, never mind. Link and wait till that red turns on again. All right, Kim, where are we right now? We are in Illinois. And we're getting tons of traffic noise, so we're gonna move there. All right, Kim, where are we right now? We're in Illinois. Specifically, where in Illinois? Uh, canola. Co canola. Canola is a del delicious Italian pastry, but we're in Coro Colona. Colona. Not canola. Kim, where are we right now? We're in Colona, Illinois. Yes, the upper eastern portion of, uh, upper western portion of Illinois. Where did we think we were going to be this time today, about noon yesterday? I think we were supposed to be in... Effingham. Effingham. A in city actually called Effingham. Yeah, Effingham, Indiana, which I was excited to see because it's called Effingham. So tell us how we're here in corn country rather than, I guess they're corn country too, but rather than where we were going to be. We decided to go to Utah. What made us decide that? We decided that we didn't really have to get to Texas right now. We're going to go to Utah, visit family, get our personal stuff, and then head down to Texas. Yeah, that's one of the great things about RVing. Do what you want to do. Go where you want to go. Make Don't matter. Turn. We do pulled over and uh, somewhere in Illinois by Chicago and made a couple calls, made changed plans, and just changed plans. So now we're, yeah. what's the difference between heading south and going west? You don't take a left turn. You just go. So we're taking the I-80, which right. goes right through Salt Lake, yep. all the way from here. I guess, where's the I-80 start? Chicago? I don't know. We'll find out. But are we excited for this new journey? We're excited. And we got to stay the night here at a Harvest Host, which is Lavender, uh, Lavender Crest Winery. And mm. they serve lunch, mm. it's salads and sandwiches and we had wine. And the beer. most delicious. I think that's the best French dip I've ever tasted. That was good. So they have French dip, which I ordered, which was on a great bread with the, uh, a juice mm. uh, with cream cheese horseradish sauce mm, it's so good no calories there okay so today we're headed over to uh well we're, we're to, to, okay so en route to nebraska yeah. city yeah today we're en route to nebraska city we'll stop somewhere tonight i don't remember where and then we'll stay there for a week and then after that we got another weekend jump and then after that we got another probably another weekend jump and then we'll hit salt lake but uh so it's a whole new journey we weren't expecting this and uh, it's just fun we like it that, that yeah. way yeah so it's ready to roll? Keep it real. No. Mwah. So Kim and I just came across this little place. Little? It's the world's largest truck stop, Iowa 80. We couldn't drive by that without it's stopping. Dairy Queen. A wind Dairy wind. Queen. And a, what, how many parking spaces is it? 800? It said 900. 900. Or maybe 800. I don't remember. Oh that is really big. There's a lot of trucks. So the there. thing that's big is not so much the building although it is a large building it's the acreage of parking lot it's huge does it say diesel sure does all right here okay in my defense every diesel pump i've ever seen in the world is green and here the other ones are green and the diesel ones are black so when you woke up this morning did you think you'd be at the largest truck stop in the world today I didn't know this was here. I mean, I guess I I've heard of it. I Bucky's was really the biggest, but ah, I guess so. Different. Well, technically, Bucky's is not a truck stop because they don't allow trucks to stop. Right. So, so this is an actual truck stop. Now that we're at the national truck stop. It does look quite large. Or it's the largest truck stop. Oh, it's a big old food port. Oh wow. First thoughts, how does this differ from Bucky's? Well, we got all the food court options yeah. right here. All Bagels, coffee, Dairy Queen, yeah. Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wendy's. Got all your drink stations over here. It's a little warmer, you know, the atmosphere is a little... Not as uh, crowded. Not quite as, yes, not nearly crowded, not, not quite the, uh, the ruckus you see at Bucky's. What? Kim wants to buy something? What? That is a cute shirt, by the way. It's a very good color. You can get it? This is the color I want We Are V shirts all in for me. Okay. 
Yep. Uh. Beverage adventure vest. <laughs> for what? I'm not sure I it's like quick references for oh, texting emojis and oh, look at oh. this. For people who don't know how Facebook and the Oh, it's for old people, honey. Yeah, I even have and this. It has one. like print and words. And they yeah. Can, they can put it in a scrapping book. Yeah. I still that we should get it. That's cute. Hotel. Ooh. It'd have been our YouTube name. Five star hotel. That chicken looks pretty good. Since we're comparing this, it, it, it's impossible not to compare this to Bucky's. And you can't not look at the bathroom. So I'll turn my camera off. Okay. Go check out the men's room. Many, many minutes later. So it's typical. Small, just, just small, small, not clean. Uh, couple stuff. It, it was clean, but it wasn't like pristine as we've known. By the way, we'd love to be sponsored by Bucky's. We aren't. This is all just our personal opinion. Uh, but yeah, definitely Bucky's has got him beat in the bathroom department. Uh, I think this building is larger than uh, Bucky's. Did you need a pink hard hat there? Because I've got them. That's a lot of safety going on. Mm -hmm. We are Devo. <laughs> Hello, 1988. Covered in the lights. It, definitely. Stuff. So this is a truck stop for trucks. Truckers. It's it's Bucky's, fascinating. Bucky's can't say that. Well, because yeah. they're not. Because they're not. They do border shirts there. Say what? Have, if we just have them do the letters like we are B, oh. it's nothing. Just by the shirt, pretty much. Oh. But. Ooh. I'd say it is my dream, along with every other man who's ever lived modern times to keep you behind the wheel of one of those. I've lost my wife, I've lost my wife, I've lost my white squirrel. a lot of big shiny nuts. I mean, beds? Oh, for trucks, I guess. Well, they have plain shirts. Yeah. These, uh, I think, are long sleeve. Oh, these don't have the flag on it. They're just shirts. Those are just plain t-shirts. I, I wanted to get a red shirt with the flag on it for Red Friday. So I'm officially impressed with the largest truck stop in the world. What you getting, dear? Peanut butter parfait. Oh, <laughs> peanut buster parfait. Yes, buster. When's the last time you got a peanut buster parfait? I never have. I think 1973, maybe for me. <laughs> that is not quite the beef jerky selection that Bucky's has, but at least they have burnt jerky. I mean. Of course they have beef jerky. What truck stop in the world doesn't have beef jerky? I think we're finally getting out of here and all we bought was a soda, a peanut buster parfait, and a t-shirt. <laughs> Bucky's to I Iowa 80, the largest truck stop in the world. Very calm and quiet in there. Yes. Not, not as crowded. Yes, it's not as sprawl. bigger yes. than Bucky's. Bathrooms, no. It's not par, there. just par, just what you didn't expect, kind of a, a small gas station. Yeah, I mean, so I think what Bucky's has, this doesn't have actually, is Bucky's is not a truck stop. You don't have to worry about all the trucks. Right. So it's, in a way, you can't really compare them, but you right. can't help it. You can't help it. Because it's still convenient. Clearly, the way Bucky sticks out is their, you, you, their bathroom, their selection of fresh stuff, and rather than just having a food court, 
and their selection of beef jerky. And their selection of merchandise. Yeah. There's a free truck museum, which looks very interesting, or trucking museum, I should say. Right but next to it. I think we're going to get going, yeah? Yep, we're going to get All right, going. All right, but I would say you can't drive by here without stopping. I mean, how do you drive by the world's largest truck stop and not at least have a look? Well, 15, 20 miles back, they start telling you about it before yeah. you even get yeah. here. So it's kind of on your mind. You kind of have to. Kind you kind of have, have to. to. You just have to. So, so long from Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop from Walcott, Iowa. Thank you.